Hi friends. In today's gospel, John tells us that some Greek travelers came to Jerusalem for the Passover and wanted to meet Jesus. They were not Jews, but were devout seekers of God. When these Greek Greeks heard of Jesus, they wanted to meet him personally. Philip, with the help of Andrew, introduced them to Jesus. We ask ourselves, how can we help people discover the Lord Jesus today? One of the ways is to introduce people to the Lord, inviting them to join us when we gather for prayer, Bible study, works of mercy, and at the breaking of the bread. Jesus' response to giving an audience to these Greek visitors points to the reason why he came to Jerusalem at this Passover feast. Jesus knew that this was his hour, the time of fulfillment when he would be glorified through the suffering and death on the cross. Jesus came to offer his life as an atoning sacrifice for all nations. In the first part of this gospel, Jesus speaks about the grain of wheat falling to the ground and dying to bear much fruit. Jesus indeed is the grain. Like the grain of wheat, he must go into the earth and die in order to bear fruit. The bread of the Eucharist, made out of the grains of wheat, is multiplied and divided to nourish all Christians. This imagery reminds us of the profound mystery of sacrifice and new life in Christ. Just as the seed must undergo a transformation to grow, we too are called to die to our old selves, our selfish desires, and embrace the life-giving power of love and service. Jesus invites us to follow him, to walk the path of selflessness and humility, even when it is difficult. Through his own death and resurrection, Jesus shows us the way to true fulfillment and eternal life. Let us take up our crosses daily, trusting in God's grace, and may our lives bear abundant fruits. Yes, friends, we are invited to walk in the light of the Son of God. Let God's light shine always through us to help dispel all forms of darkness. If we stop clinging to our life and let it go, our lives will actually flourish. This happens when we begin to follow Jesus more closely in service and spiritual practices. May our hearts be changed by God's transformative grace and love. It is God's moment for us now. Let us not lose it. Let's be a light to the world. As the moon gets its light from the sun, we are to be seen reflecting God's light. Thank you for listening to God's Word. This is Father Jimmy Matthew, Mission Director, FRC Philippines. Remember, the family that prays together stays together. Bye for now and God bless.